Now, I seem to remember I, last time we talked, you were talking about a baby, mm -hmm. possibly. Yeah. Do you have any questions about uh, mi mindful giving birth? Absolutely, yes. Um, could, could you talk about um, giving birth in particular? Well, you know how to work in feel space. Mm -hmm. You know how to work with uncomfortable touches. You've done it with your migraines. You know how to work with challenging emotions. Well, that's all that's going to come up, right? You've already mm -hmm. done it you know that things tend to break up into flow. That will be even more uh, evident in the birthing process, probably. But what I mean by probably is uh, there's a statistical tendency for, for anyone, uh, even someone that hasn't done practices and whatever, there's a, a force in nature that um, makes uh, that pushes mothers into the experience of flow when they mm -hmm. give birth. But they may or may not be able to detect how nature is sort of moving them in that direction. Okay. But you, it's highly probable that you will be able to detect that given your background. You know, there'll be these challenges mm -hmm. and you'll apply the procedures that you're familiar with. In addition to the fact that it's ex extremely challenging, You've also got all these forces of nature that are sort of trying to help you out, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, women have been doing this for, for since the beginning. <laughs> so the body is designed to go into equanimity and flow states during the birthing process. As I say, due to various circumstances uh, in modern civilization, people don't know how to detect that natural tendency, so they may not exactly go with it but you will. You've got the challenge level growing, but then you've got what your body naturally knows, your consciousness actually, naturally knows to do, which is to drop into equanimity and flow. Okay. So those are gonna race a little bit, and they do in anybody, but because you have a practice, you, this, that gives a huge advantage to the forces of nature. Mm -hmm. that are trying to make it into a good experience. So it's likely that the equanimity and flow will be able to keep well ahead of the rising challenge level. Oh. Likely. Okay. The contractions start. At first they're mild and they're spaced. And then they get more intense and closer together. You understand okay. what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Right? And that sort of builds to a point where they're uh, extremely intense and very close together. Nature is trying to uh, create a, a rhythm and get you into a rhythm. Mm. And it starts out very gentle and mild and without too much challenge level. If you can get in sync with that rhythm from the get-go, mm. by the time it reaches full-blown intensity, you'll have become the cosmic womb of uh, space itself giving birth. There's a peak and there's a valley. There's a peak and there's a valley. Pain where the change is subtle takes a lot of work to dissolve. But pain that comes in well-defined peaks and valleys, much easier to deal with because you can get into a rhythm with it. And pain that starts out hardly pain at all and with long intervals, but then it's going to eventually get to maximum po possible. I've been told it reaches the maximum the nervous system can produce. Yet, women do this, okay? So that means that the potential for transcendence, for permanent transformation of consciousness is just incredible. Mm -hmm. But you see how nature is trying to make it easy on you. It's like it's mild and spaced. So you get into this rhythm with it. And there are various ways that you can get into the rhythm, which I'll describe in specific. And then when you finally sort of reach the periods of intensity, there's a high probability that you'll be in an ecstatic state. Mm -hmm. So what happens when a discomfort intensifies? Well, it may spread. 
when a, 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 a touch expands, there is a tendency for the mind to contract and to turn off. Except if the mind freaks out. <laughs> if the mind freaks out, then as the pain expands, the mental reaction expands. Mm -hmm. okay? Okay. If you sort of look at what the natural tendency is, it's simultaneous expansion and contraction of the body, the physical sensations, the touch expands. And there's a natural tendency for the image and talk to sort of go into blank and quiet at that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a tendency. Now, if you can notice that tendency, then each time there's a peak, so you let the pain expand, and you simultaneously let the mind contract. Okay? And so that peak drives you into blank and quiet in mind space. And then you let the sensation expand it. But since there's no mind, or little mind, there's little sense of a self. <laughs> it's okay, you'll be quite literally becoming a, a flow. If you can start that rhythm off fairly quickly, by the time things are getting intense and coming fast and furious, each e expansion of sensation, like the body expands more, but the mind contracts into rest more. So each spike of contraction drives the mind into a restful state. Now, there are also valleys in between the peaks. What's the natural thing during the valley is to physically relax the body, okay? Because now okay. the, the pressure's off. When the valley comes, you go into relaxation, which is totally natural, because the pain's not there, right? So then you relax. And then when the peak comes, you let the peak drive you into blank and quiet. Mm -hmm. And then during the valley, you go deeper into relax, <laughs> okay? And then in the peak, you're in blank quiet. There is a tendency to, uh, when touch expands, sometimes emotion can react to it, but sometimes feel gets turned off too, mm. okay? okay? And that could be a natural tendency. Feel arising by way of reaction, like fear that can happen. But you can also see that it will sometimes just turn off feel and produce emotional peace. It's just like only so much real estate in the body. And if touch is big enough, there's no room for feel anymore, no room for emotion in the body. The cycle is touch expands, feel image talks self, thought and emotion self contracts at the same time, okay? Wow. So you're aware of peace, blank, quiet at the peak, and then you're aware of physical relaxation in the valley. Then you get into a rhythm with it, and the body is, is now being controlled by that rhythm. Mm -hmm. At the peak, the feeling, thinking self is just gone. It's just in peace, blank, quiet. And at the valley, it's easy to physically relax the body. The cycle takes you into a state of relaxation, peace, blank, quiet. You'll may, you may have trouble focusing your eyes and ears at some point, like you're going to pass out and your eyes start to swim. That creates light and silence. So the whole thing is just driving it into restful states. Wow. And then the restful states flow. And then your expansion and contraction and the universe's expansion and contraction become a single expansion and contraction. And God gives birth to the baby through you, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And you experience that directly. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful, some feel. yes. Yeah, yeah wow. that's that's how I coach women through the birthing process. Oh. Wow. Wow. Or one of the strategies. Yeah. There are other if that doesn't work, there are other strategies. But. Oh. The flow of having the baby. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's beautiful.